Hi, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the right shoulder. We're looking inside the joint. We've got two cannulas coming in the front of the shoulder. This is the part of the shoulder we call the rotator interval. We've got a clear one on the left over here behind the biceps and this uh, gray plastic cannula just above part of the rotator cuff called the subscapularis tendon, which you see on the right side. So as we start to look around, we can see right off the bat we've got some tearing here in the superior labrum. This goes along with the diagnosis of a slap lesion, which you have. See this is torn here. All this tore from this part of the shoulder with the recurrent instability. And so this is what we call a slap lesion. We can see how it's displaceable, meaning I can move it. And this anchor just isn't anywhere near as stable as it, as, uh, it used to be before it tore. Now as you look at the top of the screen, you've got a little bit of fraying in the, run, in the uh, undersurface of the rotator cuff, but it's not bad. I don't think that's going to need a separate repair at this point. We're going to look down the front of the shoulder, and as we look down the front of the shoulder, we can see the anterior labrum here actually looks pretty good. Okay, the middle glenohumeral ligaments down here crossing the subscapularis tendon, that's part of the MGL. And then the inferior glenohumeral ligament is going to be down below. And it's not very well defined, which again goes along with the instability that you've been experiencing. Now as we look at the back of the shoulder here, we can confirm that the posterior capsule is still attached. And as we look down at the labrum, I'm guessing we're going to see some pathology. And sure enough, we can see the labral tearing here that goes along with the posterior dislocation, or these posterior dislocations you've been having. So there's the problem with the label tearing, and we'll, we'll explore that in a little more detail in a minute. The next step for us is actually going to be to remove some of the torn labrum so we can see a little bit better. Hold the camera very steady here. And then we're going to switch the camera and get to work in the back of the shoulder. So here's the first step. We're just going to we're just going to remove a little bit of the torn labrum just so it doesn't block our view. And the other thing that I can do now that will save us some time is we can debride the cartilage where the slap lesion is. And so down here we'll start the shaver. This takes off the cartilage so that we can get a nice repair zone for the biceps anchor. So we'll keep working here and we'll show you some more in just a minute. Pause.
so we've got our anchor in. You can see that. We're going to take one of the sutures out the front. The front is on the cushion. The front is on the left side of the screen, as you see there. We'll push in our great cannula and retrieve this. Hold the cannula tight. Just like that. And now we're ready to make our first stitch. We'll take a grasper in the front of the shoulder. So hand that. Other way. Rasp to me. So here's our rasp coming in. We use this just to gently roughen up the capsule. As you see here, it's got these sharp points on it. And this way we can create a healing response without removing any tissue. And we'll just work all through this area where we're going to be operating to try and create this healing response. And basically we're trying to make this like a piece of Velcro so it sticks together and starts to heal. In a minute, we're going to take a turn to the left suture hook loaded with a, a black wire called the shuttle relay. You'll see that come in here next. Here it is. We're going to try and finish our stitch right here. So that's how we rehearse the stitch. We're going to go into the capsule right about here. So you can see how we poke through the capsule there. And then we'll bring this through just like that. You can see we've made that first pass. We're going to pull that suture all the way underneath and through. That looks like a good shot there. And now we're going to do what we call a figure eight of intertwined crusher hook. What we call a figure eight mattress stitch, which means that we're going to take that same suture and pass it underneath one more time. So we're going to pull this one down out of the way. We're going to take this one and pass it back here again. Okay, for the second pass, we're going to go into the capsule a little bit more superior here. this knot and you'll see how it tightens and plicates the capsule and really gives us the first step in repairing this shoulder for you. We'll show you how that looks like as soon as we're done here. The first stitch, that looks great. You can see how that's really snug down that posterior corner which is exactly what we wanted it to do. And what we're going to do now, with a little bit of luck, is pass another anchor. I'm just trying to get a guide back in position again. So it looks like we're coming through right about there, which is where I want. Okay. Pull that. Anchor? Or drill, I'm sorry. We're going to place another anchor right about here. So into that hole, we're going to pass our suture anchor. And once we have that buried, we can unload the inserter. And you'll see we've got two more sutures to work with. With this type of anchor, we have to seat it by pulling back on the sutures. And that's what we're doing there. That looks very solid. So now we'll take a crochet hook, 
and we will go ahead and do the same type of uh, maneuvering that we did before just to get the sutures one at a time. Okay, so here we are going to make our second stitch. How's our cyst solid down? Is it good? There's the first pass, and now we'll go underneath the labrum here. I think that'll be fine. We'll feed that through. Okay, so the second one's tied. You can see this wasn't quite the same type of figure eight mattress stitch. This was a simple stitch, and it looks good. Um, I want to check and see. Sometimes we can make a pass through the uh, actual cannula, but sometimes you can't get the angle. I just don't like that angle as much. Then we make our third pass. This will be another simple interrupted stitch, I think. Look at it again here. You can already see, I think, how much this is tightening up this posterior shoulder. I'll take a good shot there. Okay, I'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, so what we've got here is three anchors and three very strong sutures holding down and reconstructing this posterior shoulder. I apologize, it's getting a little foggy. I'm going to try and clear up the fogginess in the camera and get a better picture. So that's a little better picture. So now you can see what we've done here. And if we focus a little bit better, there we go. So now you can see what we've done in the back. So I'm happy with the way that looks for our posterior reconstruction. Now we're going to get to work on the slap lesion. Just placed a suture anchor right in front of the biceps. You can see it's got two sutures on it. And this is what allows us to fix the slap lesion. So it's just a bigger version of the anchors we've already used for the posterior reconstruction. We're going to take a crochet hook. And the way that we're going to fix this for you today, we're going to take three of these sutures out of the way first. So we'll take these three. We'll take them outside this cannula over. you got to push harder than that. Over a switching stick. Switching stick, big one. And we'll look at that. Okay, now back out the cannula. All the way out. Did you get the suture out? Okay. Don't pull the suture. Okay. And now you can see those sutures are outside the cannula, which is what we want. Now we're going to hold the cannula right there. We take a crochet hook, and we'll take the one suture that we're going to work with first, so it's inside the cannula, just like that. Now the next step is to take a grasper. And use, hold the camera, I gotta pull this really back. We're gonna use this suture hook. See how that comes out underneath the labrum behind the biceps. Hold that real steady right there. We'll feed the relay through. And we'll back it out. Retrieve the relay here. And then outside your shoulder, we're going to load that with a suture. the first stitch. You can see it behind the biceps there. It's snug. That looks good. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the biceps tendon over here. We'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so now we've got the anterior suture tied and I'm happy with the way that looks. Rotator cuff's fine. And now this biceps tendon anchor is very stable. See as I tug on it with the cannula here. It's not going anywhere. That anchor is not going anywhere. So I'm happy with that. We're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.